This is a Pixel 6 RAW versus JPEG test. My main issue with the default JPEGs that come out of this phone is the HDR Plus tends to essentially uh, pull up the shadows too much and you end up with photos without much contrast even in scenarios where you actually have contrast in the scene. So I by default when I'm using the phone um, normally uh, tap to focus which then allows you to manually pull down the shadows and then that setting sticks so all of these JPEGs um, that were generated were using uh, the slider for the shadows to be pulled down uh, with the focus point enabled. So these JPEGs already have the shadows pulled down using the stock pixel camera app um, and would by default have even less contrast if it wasn't manually pulled down. One thing of note, I'm using Capture One to edit these files. While Capture One is great for uh, Sony and Fuji RAW files, um, it turns out it's not so great for Pixel RAW files. Um, the tent, as you can see in the white balance, is set to negative 50 and by default the um, images just look really flat and uh, unsaturated. So I'm having to pull sliders super far uh, relative to what I normally am dealing with um, my Sony RAW files. Um, generally it's just relatively minor adjustments on those. So uh, don't take this as the norm for editing the RAW files. This first image uh, is at south of the border um, in South Carolina, uh, for anybody wondering. Um, so uh, one theme that's going to pop up here over and over is um, something kind of already discussed. The shadows tend to be lifted too much by default. And even while manually adjusting the slider um, in the camera app, they aren't dark enough for my taste, um, especially for something like this where uh, part of the main subject of the photo is the actual shadows itself. So I really want those to pop and stand out relative to the highlights. So um, on the default JPEG, um, it's not bad, but I would prefer them to be a little darker. The second thing in the JPEG that I'm not a fan of is the saturation level. Um, the sky is a oversaturated blue, and then the rest of the scene with the bricks just is has too much saturation for my liking. So uh, between the the shadows and the saturation, um, I prefer the raw image, uh, even with the limitations of Capture One uh, with dealing with these pixel files. The second image, I think the Pixel JPEG um, did a pretty good job. Uh, this was pretty flat lighting, so there there aren't really any um, highlights or shadows, so everything is relatively flat. And I think this is why why it turned out better than um, some other situations. So my edited raw, I end up with something similar, and I actually. I think I might prefer the, the JPEG out of the Pixel than the Editor Raw, um, considering uh, the issues I'm having with my Raw Editor. This next image doesn't have flat lighting in it. Um, the building on the left is supposed to be in shadow, and the building on the right and kind of in the background is more lit, and then the sky as well. So it, it is uneven lighting in this photo. And the pixel again is doing its thing, where even if you pull the shadows back, um, it has a tendency to try to even the lighting out in the entire scene. So it pulls up the shadow areas, and you end up with a pretty uniform flat exposure across the scene, even though that's not reality in this situation. So I prefer the edited raw in this situation. Um, the lighting looks more natural and you, deal, you end up with some contrast um, 
and more interesting photo that isn't flat, um, in my opinion. This next photo has some contrast in it um, and isn't a, a flat exposure across it. And most photos that I take, um, one of the things I'm looking for is interesting light. And to me, and what catches my eye a lot of times is either morning or evening light where you're having uh, direct light highlighting a subject or backlighting some foliage or something like that. And most of the time what you end up with is some shadows in these situations. So um, a lot of these photos are going to have some of these deep shadows um, that I'm taking here. And again, the pixel um, tries to pull the shadows up too much in my opinion. Uh, saturation isn't too bad. This raw file, I couldn't get exactly the way I wanted it. Um, and again, I think it's a capture one issue. I think Lightroom probably would play better with these files. Um, but e even saying that, I think I like the raw file better, or I'm pretty sure I do. Um, the colors aren't quite what I want, but uh, the contrast is there and um, is more representative of what it looked like. This next photo, um, the lighting on the subject is pretty flat. Um, while the sky is a little, little blown out relative to the, the subject. Um, so the, the pixel, I think, did a pretty good job in the JPEG uh, because of this. So it preserved the highlights and the, the lighting was relatively flat to begin with. So um, it, it didn't have the issue of pulling up shadows too obviously much. Um, the colors and saturation are also in control and don't look too overblown. But with that being said, um, I do like the, the raw file better. Uh, has more micro contrast in there and uh, the scene looks like it has more depth, which it, it should. I mean, there's a lot of depth in this photo. So overall, I do like the raw better here. This is another flatly lit photo. So Pixel does well again in this situation. Um, I do like the, the lighting. Um, I think it did a good job there. Uh, colors a little saturated, but not too bad. Um, so uh, this image I do like. This situation does show another advantage to me for the raw files. Um, with uh, architecture like this, um, especially with a phone, uh, if you have to tilt your axis a little to the shot framed up properly, you'll end up with vertical lines that converge um, in taller buildings like this. So what the raw file allows you to do um, is use Keystone to correct that and get a more square image, um, which I prefer in these architecture photos. Um, you can do it on the JPEG, but thing about the JPEGs is any kind of edit you do to them and then you output your results. Every time that you edit that JPEG, you get a, a worse result because it compresses it again. So by using the raw file, you end up with a better photo to begin with because you're outputting to the original first time of that JPEG's existence and not degrading the image quality. So to me, um, it's worth it to use RAW selectively um, when I'm shooting with the Pixel 6. Um, like for day-to-day -day stuff that I know that I'm not going to care too much about, um, I normally just leave it on JPEG and slide the shadow slider down pretty much all the way. And I get something closer to what I like, but um, in a situation like these photos where I'm going on vacation and I know that I'm going to want to keep these and go back later and edit them. Um, I, I, I do get better results and you know that I like better because I can edit them the way I want them. Um, and the great thing about having those raw files for stuff you want to keep is you can go back again if you you know pick up any new skills or any software or anything or decide oh, I want to you know try black and white of this image or different things. Um, allows a lot of leeway to 
make changes to that if you didn't have the raw file, the JPEGs are way more limited in any kind of edits that you can do to them.